Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Mariah, how the hell are you gonna say I'm here and that's all that matters? Girl, you had like three scenes this season. Mona's phasing you the fuck out. Joe, you look like an old man fart. Sin, you have no value. Is that Kim Bella? I thought it was his mama. Child, Yandy went and got one of Nicki Minaj's wet and wavy wigs and the shit looks hideous. Hideous. Ah, uh, Remy, who did your makeup? Why are your cheeks white? Your cheeks is white, your nose is <laughs> Lord, you look a fool. That chain is hideous. Child, Rich Dollars looks like he's at death's door. Girl, did you pop a molly? You know you shouldn't be doing that with your beaters. Lord. Maggie, too much makeup. Manio, no, you need a little makeup. Okay, Juju. That's a lot of hair, but all right. Oh, Lord. Alexis Sky looks hideous. Who told you this Q-tip style was what was up? Oof, the edges is fucked up. These weird little tendrils. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And here we have Naya in a $40 wig and Mariah Lynn out here looking like a broke Lady Gaga. Jonathan in her full face of pancake makeup. She just, I'm telling you, a butter knife, just a butter knife. Sydney Star, there was no reason to get up and pose. You look a fucking fool, the hair is cheap, and the dress is ugly. Safari didn't show up because a lot of people wanted to have beef with him for no reason. So he said, you know what? Y'all don't actually have beef with me. The producers have amped your dumb, gullible asses up to have issues with me so that you can get a plot line. Well, guess what? We ain't hashing shit out at the reunion. That was a fuck you to production and they deserved it. He said, keep your $5,000, Heffa Scott. Keep it. I think he coming up on the end of his contract. They're about to head over to WeTV. Oh my God. What in the Liza hell is, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh Lord, that suit shouldn't be worn by anyone ever. It's just too much. Kim Bella is pregnant. I don't know why you wanna keep having babies you can't afford. This heifer really tried to channel Beyonce. <laughs> oh my God. One, the shit's already been done so it's not necessary. Two, you don't even sing. She really came out here and, and tried to give us a Beyonce reveal. <laughs> no one gives a fuck. Okay, Nina asked you, what was the truth with Infinity? And you said, I know what the truth is, but you didn't share it with us. Answer the question, Yandy. What's true? Child, Maggie start crying. Then Yandy start crying. Everybody kind of look irritated like, mmm. <laughs> like, look, we all got sob stories up here. We ain't got to do all that. Remy look... <laughs> this couch full of people don't look like they believe in any of it. So now Yandy was in Kimbella's wedding, but they back to fighting again. Well, Kimbella pregnant, so she sure do need that check now. Keeping up that squawking for some scratch. Kimbella and Yandy going at it. Honey, don't nobody care. We all know this is to give Kimbella a check since she's going to have a baby she can't afford by a felon and a jailbird. Yandy forgives Mariah Lynn. She's like, I see how much you care. You didn't kind of come into our lives too. I get it, I get it. You just didn't want me to throw the heifer back. Kim Bella take back what she said. It was some bullshit and you know it, Kim Bella, but again, you'll say anything for a check and for your sorry ass husband. So Jules told his kids what's actually going on. Yandy told Lil Mendeecees, oh, your daddy in the army. <laughs> Mariah Lynn said, oh, I thought my dad was in school for 10 years. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, just a generation of ain't shit. Child, I don't give a fuck about this pre-jail wedding so that he could have conjugal visitation. Fast forward. All right, now we've got Sorry Star. But my question is, uh, what about the other transgender girl? She ain't the first. Remember that messy songwriter or something that was on Atlanta? We forgot all about her. Child, Sydney talking about her penis. Rich was like, girl, girl. A lady doesn't talk about her penis at a reunion. So Naya's like, look, I actually want to rap. You just want to be a celebrity. You don't really want to get in the booth. And I'll agree with that. I never heard that Sydney Starr was a rapper. 
So Remy gives Sydney some advice. She said, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like the song. I felt like it was for shock value. You know, dig deeper, dig deeper. And Sydney give her a hug for that little bit of advice. And for some camera time. And Nia just sitting over there clapping, girl, you ain't got advice to first. When you can get your own shit off SoundCloud and on Spotify, call me. Uh, 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 Jonathan, you got a point, girl. Jonathan said, I'm gonna speak for the sissies. Now, I'm sorry, there is a place for dick sucking music. Sometimes you need, you know, a soundtrack to the dick sucking. She can provide that, I actually like it. We don't like it when white people tell us to tone down our color. So why should we tell her to turn down her sissy? Mm. Food for thought. I will say though, the way she was doing it, it really was shock value. That, that was shock value. That wasn't like, no, this is really me. Cause otherwise you'd be like way more into adult entertainment. This heifer, <laughs> Nicole said, so Sydney, why'd you want to work with Rich? And she gonna say, Rich makes dreams come true. I didn't know Olivia had a dream of working at Foot Locker, but she is. Did he make Erica Minna's singing dreams come true? Nope, nope. I don't know whose dreams he has helped actualize or realize. I'm confused, I'm confused. Girl, you on this stage cause Mona needed a token transgender. Token, token. Oh God, the little meth heart. I am not pregnant. I mean, I wouldn't even think that diabetic sperm would be good anymore. It's old as hell, that sperm's expired. Oh, uh -huh. so he got a vasectomy. <laughs> I can't with these two. Oh God, oh wow. Rich and Mariah are really desperate if they are gonna try to do a reverse vasectomy plot line next season. I mean, I guess since all these more mature women are having babies, more mature men gonna be doing it too. But Rich, I <laughs> You sitting on this stage sweating too much. I'm worried about you. you. You don't need nobody's baby. The stress could be too much. Oh my God. She said if I was gonna get pregnant in the anus, I would do it with the man I've been with for eight years. Fuck a husband, fuck a husband. I'll do, I'll get pregnant by his. Ugh. The goals and the priorities, they're askew and out of line. She said, I am very much in love with him. How much did Mona give you for that? See, you didn't have storyline to first all season. So now it is time to show up and show out at the Ryuyu. Aha, Nikki asks, so Rich, are you in love too? Oh God. Girl, everybody know you got diabetes. That was your plot line last year. Diabetes, diabetes, diabetes. I'm diabetic dollars with the diabetes. Girl, you did everything but a full length ad for a humalog pen. Now I will say, the vasectomy was nobody's business. Now that, that you could have been like, now why are you gonna talk about my penis on this stage? If y'all shit was behind the scenes, it should have been behind the scenes. Girl, see Mariah, you're still stupid. You are trying to get him to claim you publicly when you nothing but private puss. See, this is what happens when you have a bond and not actual relationship titles. This that bond shit. God, Jonathan, you done picked up a few pounds and that's not the worst thing in the world, but this suit is just accentuating all the wrong curves. Oh, Rich is walking off. He ain't saying I love you and he ain't saying it on camera. Oh God, if y'all have been on and off for eight years, on and off, I, I can't with you. You clearly think it's more, and he clearly thinks, well, the puss is easy and it's here. Why not? Now Nia Lee piping up and Nia Wright, you are embarrassing yourself. You let him claim your ass first. If it's secret penis, then keep the secret. But you really thought that Rich would claim you. And even if he did claim you, that means he's gonna go out and cheat on you for the plot line and to worm his way out of the relationship. That's why he likes y'all on again, off again. Mariah said, you embarrassed me in front of this half-ass bitch. <laughs> what is a half-ass bitch? I'm gonna have to think on that one. That's fascinating. Rich did it for a plot line like you did it for a plot line. Everybody acting a fool for the camera, for the camera. If you gotta cry and beg for this man to go out and claim you, mm-mm, mm-mm. 
Hey, Mariah, you're a pretty girl. You could do so much better. So Mariah ain't come back out. So Rich comes back and says, now look, I love her to death, but uh, I don't love her like that. I didn't want to embarrass, denounce, and disclaim her, but you know, oh, she should have told me that she had those feelings, and I would have told her I didn't. Oh, God, Joe and Sen fast the fuck. I can't give a shit. I just took one, so I ain't got none to give. Okay, we ain't got fucks for a lot of this. It's getting real boring. <laughs> There's Joe about swimming. He said, well, I can get from point A to point B, but it ain't really swimming. Oh, oh Lord, they done browbeat Safari into showing up. So here he come. Jonathan, you weren't even on the trip and you're like, oh, oh. All right, girl. Okay, I hope that this is a 10 minute review because this was sure a sorry ass episode. But I'm gonna see you soon for something. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, about the unit. We gotta address what the hell's on your head. Say it again. We got to address what the hell is on your head. One more time. What the fuck is that? Is it a welcome mat? Is that a dead cat? We gotta talk about the unit. Yeah. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It's just, it's been in my head for years. I, I figured I'd do something with it today. I, I had a few moments. From the streets of New York all the way out to Vegas It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're famous Because you can't get someone pregnant in the anus No, you can't get someone pregnant in the anus yeah. Backpedal and pussy pop Backpedal and pussy pop. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be. My ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be 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 baby be baby be beat my ass. I want you to beat my ass. Okay, she got a hit with that one. Oh wait, no, that was me. That was me. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.